I've had the privilege of uh, working with a number of remarkable uh, colleagues and mentors over the years, and almost all of them have said the same thing. Whenever you begin to believe you have all the answers, you ought to stop and retire. The veteran community deserves our best efforts. These are people that, you know, basically put their life on the line. If we're gonna put people in these kind of compromising very stressful situations. It's really important that we make sure we take care of them. But 45 to 60 percent of this country is suffering from some form of mental illness. PTSD being one of the primary. Our practice as well as our foundation is deeply committed to veterans. We are focused very significantly in using transcranial magnetic stimulation, clinical applications of virtual reality, neurofeedback and new calm, technologies that have been shown to improve depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic uh, stress disorder symptoms. I've been involved in advanced PTSD protocols, that one of which is called RTM, Reconsolidation of Traumatic Memories. We've developed a virtual reality system for delivering what's called prolonged exposure. To help those suffering, not just from combat PTSD, but civilians suffering from the trauma of war. And so it's a way to help veterans, um, you know, go back to the, the scene of the crime in a VR simulation and to help them to confront and reprocess difficult emotional memories. As a medical association, as a biomedical association, as a neuroscience association, we, we, ha we have the responsibility to public to educate them, first about their own brain, second about their behavior, and third, provide recommendations.